How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage here, back with another video. In this video I'd like to give you my post-fight review and thoughts of yesterday's fight. Um, Hamza Shiraz versus Liam Williams. You know, um, so basically before I get into this video, obviously I was uh, media accredited for the event. So I was attending there, went to the press conference. Unfortunately I didn't get a chance to go to the weigh-in. But I was there for fight night and it was a really good night, you know. Um, basically, I don't want to start off in a negative voice of opinion, but um, I have to keep it real. I came there going through, you know, big shout out to Queensbury Promotions for allowing me to be media credited to the fight. But, you know, all I, when I go there, all I just see, seem to see is people... That, I don't know, they're generally not happy for you, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me, I'm cool, man. I, obviously, if I see someone and they're looking in my direction, I just say cool to them, you get what I'm saying? But most of all, I just keep myself to myself, to be honest, because I know this boxing world is full of fake people. But anyways, I was there, and uh, when, when I came to collect my media pass, uh, Matt was there, Matt Rich, who, who is in charge of uh, accrediting people. And uh, yeah, when I was collecting my pass, he just said to me, oh, uh, you're not allowed to go through to the locker room this time. So I was like, okay, cool, man. I didn't say anything. I, I wanted to go because obviously it's my birthday and, you know, Hamza, Hamza is one of my favorite fighters. So, you know, it would have been nice to you know, go to his locker room after the fight, you get what I'm saying? And obviously congratulate him properly and that, you know? And especially because it was my birthday, you know? Um, so, but anyways, you know, he could have said that for many reasons. Maybe his team or someone didn't want me to be there. So it's fine, it's understandable, you get what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I let it go, you get me? I was just like, all right, cool. I won't, I won't do that because obviously I want to still be in good terms with people like that, you know, because uh, they've given me opportunity, so I didn't want to ruin it like that, you know what I'm saying? But what it was is, got in there, found a seat, you know, started sitting down and that. Uh, and what I noticed is my tripod, obviously I bought my tripod to, you know, record and interview boxers whilst I was at the event, but what happened is, let me just bring you my tripod. My tripod, someone, someone stole a bit of my tripod equipment, so that was a bit disappointing. It was the phone, it was the holder, do you get what I'm saying? So someone's gone and took that off and, you know, just, I wasn't able to interview anyone, so that kind of annoyed me, to be honest, it kind of. I didn't know who it was, you know, if I if I knew who it was, I have a feeling I know who it was, you know, but uh, if I don't know 100%, I'm not going to accuse people, but I think I know, I have a feeling who it was, but it is what it is, like I said, there's a lot of haters, you're a hater, you get what I'm saying, just, just make sure you don't, I don't catch you slipping, do you know what I'm saying, because that was liberties, that was a piss take, because couldn't record anything, you know. Usually there's a holder there, you know, which holds thing, hold the thing in place. And someone's gone and stolen that one. When I'm, when I'm gone or celebrated, that's why I should have left my shit where I could see it. But you know, I got carried away, you know. Um, but yeah, let's carry on now. You know, I don't really want to keep going on about this. But here's what it is, you know. Um, I'm just gonna be more careful next time. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be more aware. You know what I mean? But um, anyways, like I go, I go on to the main event, you know, Hamza Shiraz versus Liam Williams. And in my prediction video, I said Hamza Shiraz would knock Liam Williams out in rounds one to six. Why did he make quick work of that, you know? And you don't get paid for overtime. That's the saying, and you know, it was a beautiful display of dominance from Hamza Shiraz from the start to the finish. It didn't even last that long, you know what I'm saying? But to be honest, you got to give credit where credit is due. No one's able to 
to have done what he did yesterday against uh, Liam Williams, especially the likes of Demetrius Andrade, um, Liam Smith, you know, Chris Eubank Jr. They are all able to knock this guy down maybe, but he couldn't get stopped by them. So that was a big statement for, from Hamza Shiraz, you know. And um, yeah, that, that was a punch perfect performance, man. I'm starting to see the, the fans slowly giving Hamza the recognition he deserves. Said it from beginning, man. This guy's going to be a world champion, man. And, you know, um, I stay true to that. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, he made me proud yesterday. He made me what, just under 10 bags and get me 10 grand, you know? So I uh, thank you so much, Hamza, man. You know what I'm saying? The thing with that performance was it was brilliant, man. And uh, Liam Williams, he couldn't have an answer for the long jab, you know, a long, powerful jab. And it's crazy because that jab is just destroying people, man. It's putting people down. That's crazy power, man. So uh, big shout out to Hamza Shiraz on the fight yesterday. And, um, you know, where does he go from here? You know, the options are available. Um, the world's his oyster at the moment. He can do many things in his career but um, I noticed the call out of Chris Eubank Jr. after the fight you know what I'm saying and that was that was a big call out you know because uh, Eubank Jr. wasn't able to do what he did you know what I mean which was stop Liam Williams inside one round you know what I'm saying so that that's just mad you know Hamza has come a long way you know um, since the start of his career and I've seen him a lot of times ringside so you know may that continue going because he's a special fighter man and a big shout out to his team i met some of his team um are they all of legal blows so um you know thank you for coming and approaching me and you know introducing yourself so was, that was nice man you know what i'm saying and uh, big up to what you're doing as well and i fully rate that man you know what i'm saying so uh yeah, man, the world's his oyster at the moment. Hamza Shiraz, it was a brilliant display. It hasn't really kicked in straight away. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, I'm still kind of going through everything, what happened yesterday, because there was a lot to take in, because it was, um, it was a special performance on the night, because it was my birthday. And, um, boy, that, that was the best performance I've ever seen Hamza pull out the bag. Do you get what I'm saying? He looked, he looked really good in there, man. Um, full credit to him, man. And there was a lot of people congratulating him and that. Um, I'm just happy I managed to get in there and congratulate him because there was a lot of people uh, as expected, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But unfortunately, I lost. Someone stole this thing, man. That's really, really not nice, man. You know what I'm saying? If I knew who it was, it would have been a different story, man. That's fucked, man, because I can't even record, you know, someone's stolen the the head of it, man. But no worries. Don't watch that. Once I find someone slipping, that's it, bro. You get what I'm saying? Uh, it's peak, man. It's liberties, but it is what it is, man. Next time I'll be more mindful of what, what where I put my stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Just, I don't, I just, just disappointed a bit, you know what I mean? Because I, I don't get why people would do things like that, man. Just haters, man. It is what it is, man. Uh, like I said, I don't know 100% who it was for me to say. You get what I'm saying? But it is what it is. And like I said, you know, after the fight, I was able to shake Hamza's hand. And that's all that matters to me. At the end of the day, I... Not bothered about too much of footage or whatnot because it's all like an industry where people are waiting around for for people to interview other people and just not I'm just not bothered like that to be honest like you know what I'm saying people know if they want to interview they could get at me you get me I've got my own platform and I'm not like in in a huge race to you know go and interview someone. Because if they want to get an interview, they can interview. You get what I'm saying? But I'm not going to beg it with someone because it's not what I do. You get me? I'm not, not going to sit around and wait for someone to, oh, yeah, yeah, give me an interview. Fuck that, man. It's not about that. You get me? 
But anyways, like, where's Hamza going to go from here, man? That's the exciting thing. Obviously, there's Nathan Heaney, a British dust down next this year. You know, there's also Chris Eubank Jr. There's also the opportunity of 5x5 five five Queensbury versus Matching promotions in Saudi Arabia. So that, that can also happen this year. But as for now, I want to congratulate Hamza Shiraz, man. And he's made me proud, you know. The prediction came through, said rounds one to six. And you know, round one demolition job. You get what I'm saying? So I hope you lot won some money on that. I won about 10 bags. Just under 10 bags. And, you know, I'm proud, happy. It made my birthday. And, you know, what a special fighter he is, man. So... Get behind the champ, man. Get behind Hamza Shiraz because he's going to be a world champion soon. And I said that from the beginning. And, uh, yeah, man. Just a shame I couldn't go and interview him because of certain people, certain haters. And I don't know, man. I, I need to be careful of where I put my stuff, man, because people are trying to, you know, they're not trying to see me progress, bro. Like, that's... that's there's a lot of friendly faces with uh, bad intentions, you know what I mean? Like, they're not going to be nice to you in your face and that, but, you know, it is what it is. But sad that my tripod holder, where I hold the phone, it got taken from someone. You know what I'm saying? Lucky I didn't find out who it was, man. But, uh, yeah, that's my post-fight review. And... Um, Generally, it was just a nice night. Thanks to Queensbury Promotions as well. And a big shout out to Hamza Shiraz, man. And congratulations, champ. I wish you all the best. Zane's Every Box and Dosage, I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And look out for more prediction videos coming out soon. I'm out.